Pacific Ocean, the most expansive body of water on our planet, occupying an area greater than the landmass of all the continents put together, a region conquered over 3,000 years ago by a unique seafaring people called the Lapita. I'm Camilla and I'm taking a journey through the Pacific to learn its history and meet modern day descendants living on some of the most beautiful remote islands on Earth. Join me as I discover the Blue Continent. My journey through the Blue Continent starts at Papua New Guinea and the Solomon Islands. This dance, is, this dance goes for a very long time. But it's quite fun to have a whole lot of half-clothed people dancing around you and happy to know that they're celebrating the dismemberment of somebody else and not me. <laughs> How long do you do that dance for normally? If you if that had happened, if you've oh, gone 24 and... hours a night. Twenty four hours, hours a night. Twenty four hours a night. You're joking. Yeah, very strongest. She's gonna make me cry. You know why? I didn't think that would affect me so much, but it really, really did. Kava is a very important part of culture and very much part of daily life. After the chief had had his first kava bowl, it was my turn. My reaction to this new taste sensation had pleased the chief, and I hoped the mouth-numbing and general relaxation properties of kava would not take effect before I could introduce myself. This is not spirit. This is nature power. It's a if you believe in nature power, it will work. I'm very proud to be a sun one and I love the food. The, 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 the beaches. Good life, eh? Good life. It's the best life there is. <laughs> so am I going to jump in with the whale? No, we never ever jump. We slide into the water quietly, silently, with no noise whatsoever. <laughs> 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 The combination of the singing and seeing the whale was fast becoming one of the most amazing experiences I had in the Blue Continent. I visit two corners of the Polynesian Triangle and experience the very different atmospheres of Rapa Nui, or Easter Island, and the American island state of Hawaii. None of them are smiling, they're all like... Yeah, they're, I think, you think that's a smile? I can show you one. <laughs> they're smiling. Yeah. They just want to give you a kiss. Oh, you think that? <laughs> I 
Okay, just to make sure, let's you and I hit our C chord okay. together. Okay. Make sure we sound alike. Okay. Go hit it. Oh. oh no, what's going on there? I was just joking, that was me. Yeah. <laughs> the next day I was granted an audience with royalty. So I popped into the visitors bureau for some advice. Do we have to bow our heads when she goes past or it's not like that? Just me. Just you? Yeah. Why yeah. just you? Yeah. In Tongan culture we're not supposed to look at her face. What happens if you look at her face? Oh, I mean, in the old days, you will be clubbed to death. Clubbed to death? Yes. Or well, buried alive in a, somewhere outside the house. <laughs> Why should tourists come to Vavatu? They should come because... Why, why did you come? <laughs> I came to see what was here. I came to see what was here. Do you like what you see so far? I do like what oh, I there see. there you go. Absolutely. Yeah. The term Kiwis is popular for referring to people from New Zealand. Despite being our national icon, it is one of our most endangered native birds. I was invited to have a very special peek behind the scenes into what the Kiwi Encounter team are doing here. Oh wow, just like two balls of fluff. Claire, the husbandry manager, introduced me to an adorable Kiwi, one of the many newborns that she was tending at the moment. Just like a real baby spilling on your shirt. <laughs> it was a really special experience to finally meet a Kiwi I must admit that before I did, I was still a little embarrassed that my national bird couldn't even fly. But now I count this as one of my favourite experiences in my own country. What the first explorers did who found all these islands in the Pacific was incredible. I didn't really appreciate the huge journey that they had completed until I tried it myself. Like most of the people in New Zealand, I'm an immigrant here as well. I love New Zealand because it's my place in the Blue Continent. My home in the Blue Continent. So if you could give me some beauty advice. Oh, wow, where do we start? <laughs> what if we give you a smile, that's one thing. A smile? Yeah, no matter yeah. how unattractive you look, if you smile, it can cover all the... Covers everything. Yeah. So I'm just gonna give... <laughs> yeah, just smile, yeah, just really cool. That's all, all I need to do is smile. Do. If you smile. I've got a long way to get to you though. Yeah, well, this, everyone's got a long way when it comes in comparison to me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll try. Yeah, well, you do your best. Okay. Yeah. <laughs>